WBWC viewers, this is Katie, and we are here with Ryan from mm -hmm. Call to Attraction. How are you doing tonight, Ryan? Good, how are you? I'm doing good. So get, give us a little rundown of how Call to Attraction came together. Um, it was a group of friends. You know, my brother's a drummer. Um, my, my bass player lives down the street from me. Uh, you know, we saw we all kind of always got together, you know, two hour delays before school. You know, we'd always be jamming. We grew up, you know, with Blink, Green Day, all those guys. And, um, you know, we're just kind of like, oh, you know, this is actually cool. You know, people are starting to like our sound. <laughs> right. And, uh, you know, it's just then we just kind of took it to the next level. Now we're taking it to the next level after that and just keep going. Well, you got your guitarist, Josh, off of Craigslist. Yes. Right? How, did, how exactly did that come about? <laughs> well, we, we always tell people, it was like, oh, it was in the personal section we right. found him. But, uh, <laughs> no, but we, uh, we just, you know, he, um, he messaged me. We actually, it was a week before I went on vacation to Ocean City, and um, Josh, and he's like, yeah, I'm interested in the part. I'm like, oh, that's cool. I'm like, um, well, I'm going to be on vacation next week. He's like, he's like I'm going to be on vacation, too. I'm like, wait, where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, Ocean City, Maryland. I'm like, dude, so have I. <laughs> so we actually met up with him down there um, at our condo, and then, yeah, we kind of met there. Then we came uh, like two weeks after we got back, and we suddenly worked, worked him in. You can't deny destiny. Oh, That's no. incredible. <laughs> yeah, oh, he's, he's awesome. I love that kid. How did you guys <laughs> decide on the type of music that you're playing? It's kind of like pop rock, a little mm -hmm. alternative. How did you guys decide on that? Um, it was really like, I mean, like I was saying with, you know, like playing with Green Day, you know, a lot of, a lot of the power chords. And, um, That's yeah, right. just, yeah <laughs> but, um, but ha having, we like, we really focus on having a really good melody. Mm -hmm. And uh, lo lots of harmonies. Like uh, that's that's probably the key thing about us is our melody and harmonies. And mm -hmm. I mean, it's you know, like I was always told, like you know, simple is the best. I mean, like let it uh, let it be by the Beatles. You know, okay. very very simple yeah. song. But yeah, that's, that's what we stick to. But you were talking about Blink and Green Day. I mean, mm -hmm. you have three yeah, simple I mean, chords. So oh yeah, <laughs> but uh, definition of that. But uh, yeah, I mean, they're just you know, they go, I mean, most of their stuff simple. You know, compared to you know some other bands that are out there. But right. that's just what we just always play, and that's just kind of helped form like what we decided to play. You're not so. trying to melt faces, you're just trying to like uh, warm hearts maybe. Warm warm hearts make people dance. Okay. You know? <laughs> so besides Blink or Green Day, who would be some of your other main influences as a band? Um a, a, a lot of the um, a lot of the newer bands like like All Time Low, um, bands like Hey Monday, um, Every Avenue, we're actually really good friends with them. Um, uh, the Red Jumpsuit Apparatus. Actually a lot of bands that we open for. Okay. You know, like we That's kind of we kind of made Really good friends, you know. We saw, we all talk, you know, just talk about what we're doing and everything. So, what made you personally want to play music? I, per I personally like, like, I couldn't give a speech to a class if I wanted to, okay. but I could perform. Like, I just like, I just like performing. I like, you know, being entertaining and, you know, like, that's what I do. Like, I always tell people that like, I could ne never give a speech, you Aww. know, even though like 10 people, but. You're but doing I, okay right now. That's good, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, like, I mean, if it's 800 people, nah, no problem, you know. Do you think that you like, people could understand you better through song than when just talking? I think so. Some people have told me, you know, like, it's like, I'm like a different person when I'm on stage, you know, because you like, you get, you get in a zone, like yeah. I, I always say, and it's just, you know, you're doing your thing, that's your moment, mm -hmm. you know, to shine and. You have an ultra really ego, you know how like Beyonce has uh, no. Sasha Fierce. <laughs> no. <Do you> <laughs> well, honestly, like we're we're really like the same, like how we are, you know. Like like if you just talk to us, you know, like like we we hang out at Sheets a lot, <laughs> and um, right. you know, like if you talk to us there, that's exactly how we are on stage, you know. Like that's that's also another key thing about us is you know we're we're entertaining to watch talk to each other. Mm -hmm. That's uh, a lot of people have said that. So well, I'm I'm excited to see you guys. Then. <laughs> oh, it's, it's it's a good time. What are some of your favorite albums growing up? Um, that maybe helped shape like what you wanted to do or helped shape the band sound. Hmm. I'd say, wow, well, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> this one always makes people think. Yeah, I would say, well, definitely All Killer No Filler. Oh, okay. From Sum nice. 41. Yeah. Um, a lot of that, you know, that, that, like, Sum 41 definitely helped me with, you know, being out there because, you know, they're obviously, you know, right, right, right on your face yeah. with most of their songs. <laughs> um, and then just going off that, that's when I started probably playing guitar. Then after that, um, getting into bands like All Time Low, like when Dear Maria Count Me In came out, mm -hmm. that was, you know, really. Really, that was, a, that was that song. Yeah, it's like, all right, I need to do this. Yeah. This is awesome. You know, <laughs> I want to do. I want to have that next song, and really, really, just all, all those bands who were on the AP tour last year. You oh, know, just listen, listen to all of them. And uh, wait, who was? I'm trying to think who was on the tour. It was uh, what, fall 2009 or. Yeah, so it was the one that never shot, never headlined. Oh, okay. It was uh, yeah, never shot, never the cab, hey Monday, the Somerset, and every avenue. Okay, I couldn't, I couldn't remember yeah. who it was. Sorry, I was thinking of the one they just have now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> do you like any? Um, besides like the all time low, or you can even use that as your answer, mm. what are some of your favorite trends coming out right now in music? Could be a genre or a group. Have you ever heard of dubstep? Really? Yeah. 
yeah. Have, yeah, you, yeah. have you heard of that? Like yeah, yeah. I, that, that's that's starting to grow on me. We actually the intro for our set we're gonna use it for the show here. Um, it's so we have like a little synth thing, then it goes into a really hard drop. I guess it's called. You want to make people dance? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, trust me. Like they, like with this beat, you know, it's 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 pretty sweet. Then we'll come out, you know, to it, and it, it looks really good. But uh, yeah, dubstep. Uh, I mean, I, I never really got much into screamo. Right. But but I can listen to it, and really, it's just been me just you know just on the straight path, you know, doing doing, doing the real marketable. Anything that's marketable, you know, I'll take under my wing. Awesome. And do it. So. I think it's, I just love that you want to make people dance. That's yeah, awesome. oh, it, it's it's great. It's <laughs> Are there any trends you wish that would just go away? There's uh, so many. <laughs> this, this was everyone's always like. There's so many that I wish would just uh, stop. Th there are like. I mean, uh, honestly, I don't mind them. Like, I like all kinds of music, but like, I could never. I could most likely never listen to a whole album of rap. I mean, ra okay. rap, rap, rap's never gonna go away. I got, I got, right. it's, 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 I like it, but like I said, I could never listen to a whole album. Mm -hmm. But like the new auto tune stuff, you uh, don't like maybe. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, that's the same thing. Like, I could listen to one song by T Pain, and then, <laughs> and then after that, <laughs> it's like, okay, okay, you know, it's the same. <laughs> that's understandable. So you've released your um, this one's for you EP earlier mm -hmm. this year. Yep. So tell us a little bit about that. That was uh, we we um, cause all, all the the two albums we had before that we recorded at my house. You know, they they came out they came out you know pretty good for a self release, and we're like, all right, we're gonna take this next step, go professional. Mm -hmm. And I, I actually work at a studio in McKeesport, Pennsylvania, called Soundscape Studios. Uh, we recorded it there. Um, my boss, Doug Casper, produced it. He owns the studio, too. And we, we spent a good probably three, four months just doing those four songs. Um, you know, my brother tracked the drums because he's also playing with a different band right now. He's got some big opportunities touring with Saliva in, okay. in a little bit here. <laughs> yeah. But, um, but yeah, we just we took our time on that. You know, we, we really you know, sat down. You know, like, like uh, the songs we had, there was one new one on that CD, and then three of them were from uh, past CDs, and like we were, they were, they were the ones that really went over well with people. And so I kind of told like they're two years old also, okay. but I, I reproduced them, um, you know, just made them, you know, a little more up to date, and uh, just we put them out. You know, it's unprofessional, and they've been going over so good. Nice. Like a lot of people have just been raving over the CD. You're stoked about it. Oh yes, it's it's going off really good. You kind of talked about this, but you just said, but how would how exactly does this one for you differ from something like this, which came out in '09, and shout it out? Which um, I'd say definitely us growing as music musicians, because mm -hmm. um, like I know something like this that was that was our very first CD and that was kind of us just you know uh, here's us we can sing but like now we're like we're actually <laughs> right. like we're, like we're actually into it you know we we really put a lot put a lot of thought into this one like that, that's the last one with um, you know people who's who've heard all three records you know they say they go this one Stands you, know, out. You, you did this one right yeah mm -hmm. what was the, what's the writing process for uh, Call to Attraction um, I, I I write all the songs. It's it's really it's open to anyone. You know, if Josh has an idea, he'll come to me and say, "Hey, this is what I got." But like really, like songwriting, like everyone's unique in their own way. I'll have like I like I can be sitting here right now, and then I'll think of like a chorus, yeah. and then like like I'll hear I'll hear the drums, the guitars, the bass, vocals, everything, all harmonies, and then after that, I'll just go and try to just lay lay down what I hear in my head. Basically, anything we have recorded is what is going on in my head. 